Good morning, my lovelies. Today I'm going to be doing some cleaning in the garden. We just had rain yesterday, so again, now I'm doing maintenance because I am just about ready to uh, do my annual spring fertilizing. So this one's oopsie, pulling them up. And what are you? You are Babylon, aren't you? You're Babylon. Oopsie. Hang on, this one. Oh gosh, this is so gorgeous, this plant. It's got all these spots. Look at that. Oh, I think you're sorry. You're a tsunami. I thought Babylon. How silly of me. So this is what I call tsunami, but I am not a hundred percent sure of the name because hang on, they're hard to pull off. Like uh, there you go. You have to tug it. Uh, if you try and sort of just break it like that, that's what happens. You gotta tug it. Okay, or you get a forceps to pull them off because it's much better hang on and okay another tug tug there you go see perfect every time especially if they're dry <laughs> okay so maintenance day oopsie and i really desperately need to water a lot of my babies okay see so it's not, um, doesn't take that long. Hang on, where's my coffee? Oh. Echeveria Colorata, Mexican giant. Look how beautiful you're becoming. You are gorgeous. You're just about ready to be put in a pretty pot. Look at you. I don't want this one to grow as big as the other one there. So do you see the difference? See, look. Huge, huge. It's huge. That's what my budgie says. Huge. Okay, so that's huge. And look, beautiful. Hey, but I want you to get smaller, even smaller, huh? Can you do smaller for me, please? And it's flowering, so I'm gonna have to remove that flower as well. Sorry, hang on. Ah, I leave it. I leave it once I get my little forceps. I'll pull you out with the forcep. It's like giving birth, isn't it? I left this for ah, four days and look how quickly it's grown now. So I'm gonna pull them off because I just want you to be uh, beautifying. There you go. Excellent. So any flower stalks that's gonna come out of it, pull it off if you want it to grow in a pretty pot. Oh, this one now. It's time to clean up my beautiful babies. I, I would call this, that one's dry enough. There you go, so if they're dry like this, I uh, pull them off, but this one is not completely dry, so there you go. I just cut it off because the plants still need that little bit there to grow. Hang on, pick that up. Oopsie. See, I dropped my scissor because I've got all my apron with all my gadget, my gadget apron. So that one there, that's dry. You can just shake that off. Anything that's dry, we remove. Anything that's sort of half like that. I still leave that, I don't touch them, I don't cut them, just leave it there until it goes further along. And even this one, this is already sort of yellowing, uh, I remove them as well. Okay, so that one's dry. There's still resistance. Ah, if it's trying to resist, then we cut. 
So don't pull it because the plant says, no, I'm hanging on to my leaves. You can't take my leaves off. There you go. Okay, that one there, that one. Ioniums, the back of the Ioniums, they normally have dry leaves like this. So you gotta take them out because if you don't, your plant's gonna rot. It just, uh, the debris will just build up in the pot and also insects or pests, not insects, yeah, it is insects, <laughs> pests will live in it. You'll have cockroach, earwig, spiders going to live in those um, dead leaves that will collect uh, at the bottom of your, in your pot basically. And hang on, this is really hard because I'm looking and thinking and seeing. Hang on, see that one there? Need to get a whole bunch. There you go. Just get underneath. It doesn't take that long, but since I have so much plants, it takes me a long time. <laughs> it takes me almost all day, so I do it in um, bits at a time. Hang on, that one there. See, you just take those ones. And Arcante. Arcante, we just chop off. So I've already chopped off some before, but then you don't have to do this, but then it's just for aesthetic reason. It just looks ugly, okay? Pick that up. And what's down there? There you go. Those ones are dry. Uh, such a beautiful plant. So we need to fertilize you. Okay, but first we have to clean you up because there's no point fertilizing. There you go. Tug. Um, if you have dirty leaves, that will just encourage root rot. And also, I see this one's now. Put my scissor in my uh, little baggy thing here. Okay, so these ones, these are a bit tight, so I like to use my clamp. There you go, to pull them off. It's just so much easier. There you go. But this one, if I'm not going to do anything with this plant this year. I'll leave it. But since I'm going to separate this and propagate it, then I will just leave it for now because I'm going to have to pull it apart. And then also this one, see there's aphids starting to form there. We take off the flower because we don't really need the flower. But that just encourages uh, the aphids, the ants. Because the aphid secretes this sweet, sweet, sweet uh, honey or nectar and the ants just love it. So they come and then they spread their um, <laughs> disease. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to continue this now or else it's going to take me forever to do this. Uh, although I love chatting with you. Uh, there's so much to attend to. So, I will see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, by the way, I did not do, I did not upload any video yesterday because I didn't have a chance to upload or edit video because I had some uh, garden visitors. <laughs> so, and we spent five hours uh, in the garden so by the time they left it was already dark so I didn't get a chance to edit some videos but anyway I love having people around but it does take up so much time you know why because we enjoy each other's company talking about succulents oh my goodness so after they left actually yesterday at night time I was running around with a torch or a flashlight looking at my babies so there you go okay i'll see you tomorrow 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 oh there's more dead ones there oh hasta mañana
Hasta mañana, amigos, amigas. No, I don't speak Spanish. That's the extent of my Spanish. I'm not gonna get hit by lightning if I go outside. There's too many tall buildings, duh. Sometimes I don't know where I place my head, you know. <laughs> I don't want to die. Who's gonna look after my succulents? <laughs> oh, listen to that. And my chair is getting wet. Listen to that. I should probably put some more succulents out to water. There you go. That one there. Oopsie. Ripsalis. What about you? Should I take you out? No, you're heavy. You don't need to have water. What about you? Oh, you're plenty. You've got plenty of water. Oh. Oh, this one. Now I need two hands to carry this outside, so I'm gonna go off. Okay, I already put a couple of plants out. I am now gonna go inside because, oh hang on, what is this one? <gasps> it's a, some sort of crassula. So I better put you here so you can get watered. Oopsie, my camera's wet. Okay, go inside. <laughs> 